Welcome to the new look of Dazzle Student Information. Remember, everything you could do before, you can still do. It's just in a new place. So if you want to switch buildings, that's still over here on the right. I can switch to North Elementary. I want to switch school years. That's still over here on the right. If I want to find students, that box is still up here on the right, and I can do an asterisk search. If I want to put a student in context, I can select one. If I want to flip through the students, those arrows are next to the student's name, just like they were before. So now this is the context area. Everything that showed in context in the old version shows in context in the new version. So if I want to flip through the list of students, I can use these arrows. If I want to get my list back of everyone in my asterisk search and maybe flip to another one, I can come all the way down here to the D's and select Lena. If I want to do the drop down menu, the I want to menu for Lena, that's here. I want to view or schedule. All of these items are exactly the same in the I want to. If I want to use the advanced search, that is over here now on the left. Advanced search. When you hover over these icons, it tells you what the icons are. You click the advanced search, it acts just like it did before. You want to type something in the cheater or the go to. That has moved over to the right. So if I want to say R700, it'll take me straight to that page. The breadcrumb trail is right here next to the go to. If you want to take a student out of context, all you do is click the X here. If you want to open gradebook, you're going to click this and hold down your control key and open gradebook and that will open it in a new tab. Remember, you need to have access to Gradebook. And this account I'm using here does not have access to Gradebook, so I'm getting that message. If you want to log out of Student Information or Dazzle, you can do that here. My account, sign out. So this is your user that you're logged into. If you want to get to the doc site, that's the question mark here. If you want to click get to the analytics hub where the reports are, that's the paper icon. The paper icon is over here on the left now. And then finally, your management screen. Click the gear, get to your management screen. It is over here on the left. This side navigation can be expanded to be always open or always closed. So if I close it, it's going to remember that the rest of my browsing session. I like it closed personally. Another thing I want to point out, if you hover over the person icon here, my account, please completely ignore select schools. It is not functional. Here's where you change your password. Here's where you view um, your ad hoc memberships or create an ad hoc membership. If you want to switch schools, you do it over here on the right.